What is love? And what's up? So, um, quick little video for you guys just to give you an update of where I'm at, what I'm doing. There's not been much on the tank at all. Um, I got some new stock in earlier in August, and now it's getting ready to be September, so I'll probably get a couple more purchases. I've been trying to pace everything out about a month a piece just to let my tank establish before getting too crazy. So, uh, this, this is an expensive hobby, and, um... I've been very fortunate not losing a whole lot of stuff and I want to keep it that way so I'm just kind of being slow and patient and you know whatever. So um, just a little update, uh, here's DDG doing a diamond cutter on this sand and uh, he's done a pretty good job but this little turd face is responsible for this mainly. So what happens is I push all this sand over to here and even all this out. And then this J Bow Wave Maker, I think it is called, it will actually push all this around in kind of a gyre effect and it blows this sand around. Well, what this butt face does is he goes over here and he spits all this sand out, gets it loose, and then that wave just pushes it on. And so, no matter what I do to move it over, he just works on this corner. So I'm gonna weigh it down with some sand in the back. You can see I've got a pretty good stockpile back here. I will weigh that down. Uh, so going over some of the corals I have, my green star paw just looks like crap. I moved it from here, which you can see some of the remnants down there. I moved it to up here uh, because I lost my resting spot for my I lost Bananarama, which was a Canary Blenny, and he used to rest there. So I put it in that spot, hoping that it would grow over the rock. If it doesn't do anything in the next little bit, I'm actually just going to put it on top of the damn rock there and see if it goes. Um, I've heard that high light and high flow is really good for them, but, you know, whatever. It, it's not It's not going that well. Um, the clownfish are doing okay. There's Dink and Doink. Um, you've seen DDG. He's doing all right. My elegance coral, I thought that it was doing bad, but it turns out it was doing okay. I think it actually tried to eat a snail. And when it did that, it got super swollen. And then you can see that there's a shell that it spit out. So it either tried to eat a hermit crab or a snail. Uh, was unsuccessful. Uh, but I don't know if it's grown much, if any. But it does seem happy, and I do feed it. Um, pom pom zinnia. It doesn't do anything but just look like a turd. It doesn't do any pulsating or anything. I don't know if it's flow thing. I've had it in high flow, I've had it in low flow. It's just kind of stupid. And I think that it's trying to spread into the sand over here, so I'm gonna have to really snip that. Oh, a weasel pee, mama mia. Yep, there's my shrimps. They're doing all right. There's um, Citizen Snips Jr. God rest his soul, Citizen Snips Sr. And I don't have a name for this one, so every time you see him, he just says something French. Uh, but they've done good. They've molted a few times now. Um, a can. So it used to be in the ground here, and then this... Uh, look at him. That guy used to spit all over it, so I put it here. It's not glued down or anything. It's just there. And there's a little piece of algae on it that I'll explain in a minute. Uh, Blastamusa. It's done okay, but I bought such a small piece that it's just going to take a while for this thing to do anything. I've got it propped up there. Um, it does like the shade. It does do well in the shade. So, whatever. And that's all the corals that I got right now. Um, it's, it's kind of bare. My next one's going to be a bigger piece. I'm probably either going to get a torch or a frog spawn and put it right in this area here. Let it expand out and whip around. I do want to get another Duncan. I had some preliminary success with the Duncan, and then it flat out failed. Um, but yeah, so that's it. So uh, the other thing going on with my tank. So I noticed about two weeks ago, and I don't know if you can see it here, but you see this like hairy substance right there? I started noticing that I was getting all this brown, orange, hair-like algae 
And I'm like, well, where the heck is that coming from? And I got a little lax on my water changes. Instead of doing them like once a week, I went to, I don't know, about a week and two days and stuff like that. So I just got a little lazy on my water changes. But my parameters were always good and everything else. And then I noticed that I have a window beside of the tank. I noticed that it was kind of propped up a little bit to where some indirect sunlight was getting in. So... I think what it is is some form of diatom bloom. I don't think it's any red sienno. I don't think it's any other kind of algae. I think it's just a mixture of me not doing water changes and maybe some sunlight penetrating. It's not a water quality issue, which I thought it was. I checked my RODI unit, the um, T or TDM, I think I'm saying that right. Basically, there's little to no silicates in that water, and I tested that. Um, so it's not that, it's not the salt that I've been using, um, maybe it's a combination of overfeeding too, because I have been feeding a lot, because I wanted to make sure that, uh, my boy, look at him, he's peeping at you, uh, my boy was, was getting his nutrients. So, um, anyway, that's, that's that, what I have done is I'm doing two water changes a week, uh, which is not a big deal for me, because this is a smaller tank. So two five gallon water changes a week and then um, that seems to have helped. So I did go in there with the turkey baster too and sucked up all the stuff. Uh, you can see that uh, the A can suffers the most because it thinks that that algae is food. So it always gets crap stuck in it. Uh, but it has kind of a spider webby texture to it but hopefully it's starting to die out. Um, I do need to clean my wave maker there. You can see that it's got a bunch of stuff uh, tucked in that, so I'm gonna clean that really good. And I need to find a better spot for that. I, I don't know, I'm creating some kind of a flow that is causing this here. So I'm gonna keep tinkering with that so that I can get a consistent, even sand bed because at this point right now, I can't put anything in the sand bed because um, DDG messes with it and the current messes with it. So, oh, one other thing too. I think I'm going to kick up the lights a little bit. I did read that sometimes you can have um, algae because of too low of light. So, I'm going to try to kick the, um, the lights up just a little bit. And nothing's really growing right now anyway, so I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Um, outside of that, no losses, um, no issues. I'm probably missing a hermit crab or two. But that's not a big deal. I may be missing a snail or two, but that's not a big deal. Everything else in the tank has been thriving really well and doing well. And I'm going to get a big big uh, shipment, $150 spend of something, uh, probably the 1st of September. And that's it. I just wanted to tell all my huge fans out there, please keep um, writing me your love letters. And um, love you guys.